Can we really always respond for career and entrepreneurial success? Is the question we'll answer. Ladies and gentlemen, Toastmaster, if you master the skills of association to positive and dissociation from the negative, you will be successful. The daily drama on our roads will help explain. Imagine you are on your way to work. Can you just for a moment imagine responding with anger and attack to all the irrational and dangerous, dangerous drivers on the road? Picture the angry faces and all the hand signs that are exchanged. Can you feel the emotions working up as you go? You arrive at the office in a very foul mood. And that mood dictates your responses and contaminates the interactions you have with your colleagues. By lunchtime, you are all alone. Nobody wants to be close to you. You get home feeling like the people at work dislike and are avoidant of you. And then the people at home avoid you too. We often fail at effective communication in everyday life when we respond to others within the context of negative events instead of associated with negative associated emotions and defenses instead of dissociating and choosing effective means of interaction and staying very positive and smiling. Dissociation means literally to disconnect, create some distance. Association means to connect very closely. The story from my two sons illustrates the effectiveness of dissociation. Andrew in grade 1 came home complaining that Albert in grade 7 and his friends were teasing him without stop. Andrew was in tears. Please think of a situation where someone got under your skin and dissociate using the same process as Andrew did. I taught Andrew to put funny clothes, funny glasses and a funny hat with tinkling bells on each of them in his mind's eye. He then saw and heard them moving about in this funny outfit with funny sounds and imagined them speaking in this very funny ways, enhancing the image using the five senses of hearing, seeing, smelling, feeling and tasting. He also breathed deeply and moved his fingers and toes to further relax. That always works. He was already laughing about the situation that he could see in his mind's eye. Andrew further enhanced the experience by breathing deeply, moving his fingers and toes, while immersing himself completely in the warm, enjoyable picture. We role-played the scenario a few times, and then he was let loose on his tormentors. The six-year-old were now dissociated and could easily laugh whenever he was teased. A few days later, the older ones came home and complained that Andrew was laughing very loudly when teased. And amazingly, they found this very disconcerting and somehow very personal. The last step for Andrew was to up the ante and to take the game to a next level where he associated with the positive in the jokes and as a result grew friendships lasting to this very day. We taught the process in all our companies as part of our induction processes. When you associate and dissociate with people in any given situation, remember that people intuitively use the language based on their five senses. By being aware of the five senses, matching their sensory words with ones of your own, I can see, I feel, I hear, you can establish a very deep level of trust and rapport through the communication of your understanding and the confirmation that what they are saying or feeling is being understood correctly. Use these techniques responsibly. It's powerful and so are you. So please be nice 
and always act in your own best interest. We started off by asking the question, can you maneuver strategically to facilitate the desired outcome and thus expand your options for interactions in any given circumstance? I would like to leave the answer with you, but from my side, it's an emphatic yes. Thank you. Was it in word? Was it a word? I had a word for the word. I had a word for the word. I had a word for the word.